light your cigarette. I know we are pledged not to engage in germ warfare against people in faraway lands, but the Irish are not far away. This fallacy, used by Plato, lies in not recognizing that the insanity is an accident, in that it is a freak circumstance unrelated to the central topic, and readily admitted to be a special case. When was this occasion, and what papers passed between you? Question mark 1. If I did meet him, it was an accident, and suppose there was only enough food for one, and you promised him. The only amazing feature of these lurid stories is that anyone should suppose such freak cases to make the general rule any less acceptable, so what I did was not inherently wrong. Affirming the consequent to those who confuse hopelessly the order of horses and carts. Affirming the consequent is a fallacy which comes naturally. If I drop an egg, it breaks. If I drop an egg, it breaks. None of these false analogies likening the state to a human body ever seem to say much about its liver, pancreas, or waste disposal mechanism. It brought poverty and misery before, and it will do so again. There is nothing in the age of a belief or an assertion which alone makes it right. If you do not bring us the plans of the new missile, I regret I will be forced to send these photo graphs to the newspapers, overlooking the possibility that he might get both, or the option of St. Paul's, where he ended up, you must learn to introduce what you consider to be the only possible choice by saying, well, ladies and gentlemen, it seems. We have two possible choices. Blinding with science. Science enjoys an enormous prestige because it has got so many things right. The fallacy is committed because this irrelevant material has no place in the argument, just as loaded words try to prejudice a case emotionally, so does pseudo-scientific jargon. Try to induce an unearned respect for what is said. Just remember never to mention that people are coming into town to have a bite to eat, followed by a movie or a show. The first rule for using this fallacy is to remember to use long words. A major policy of Britain's The complex question, plurium interrogationum Government in the 1960s, adopted after the most serious public debate was based upon a relatively obvious circulus in probando. The complex question, plurium interrogationum, plurium interrogationum, which translates as of many questions, is otherwise known as the fallacy of the complex question. This can be accepted as some are, or even many, tend to be so, but it could also be taken to mean that one has only to find a teenager to locate a troublesome person. The audience take the bait, make it only idlers, and Thompson is already hooked. The fallacy has a most distinguished history, being used, although not identified as such, by Aristotle and Thomas Aquinas among many others. Attempts to make a divine being the allowable exception to conclusion which denies premises. The original claim usually beg the question or subvert the argo. Meant, everything in the universe must have a cause outside of itself. The intention is clearly to establish a cause which is outside of the universe and therefore needs no cause to account for it. Logicians, however, do not use the word valid to mean sound, if there is known falsity built in, as there must be with contradictory premises, then it matters not how good. The logic is, the argument is not sound. We know that money isn't everything, but we suspect, deep down, that it is 90 things out of 100, that it will buy 9 of the remaining 10, and even make the absence of the remaining one tolerably comfortable. Rupert Brooke, the old vicarage, Grantchester, in Brooke, collected poems. London, Sidgwick and Jackson, 1918. A useful device to provide covering fire for a definitional retreat is the presumption that everyone understood your Lewis Carroll, 
Through the Looking Class, London, Macmillan, 1927, pp. With these if, then constructions, it is all right to affirm the antecedent, the if part, and it is all right to deny the consequent. The then part. Since he isn't slow, he won't lose. But he might just be stupid, this can work to their advantage, the teaching at Edinburgh UNI. Versity is brilliant, Johnson lectures there, so he must be really first class, or to their disadvantage, Switzerland is a very passive nation, so I don't think we can expect too much initiative from our Swiss directors. If it were true, it would probably be because the bright ones had, like your opponent, come from it, the unwary sailor is entranced by the alluring calls of the appeal to fear, argumentum ad metum, to envy, ad invidiam, to hatred, ad odium, to super stition, ad superstitionum, and to pride, ad superbium. There is even more to tempt our preference for a quiet time with an appeal to a just proportion of everything, ad modem, and one which actually says straight out that sentiment is a better guide than reason, sentiment superior. This argument a mad metum can be intensified by the use of photo graphs and films and simulated burns, and anything else which might distract the audience from asking whether nuclear disarma meant will make it more or less likely, pride in one's own race, class or nation can be appealed to even as envy of others is built up, perhaps to the point where an ad odium becomes possible. Most of the troubles of this world are caused by people thinking things out, instead of responding naturally with warmth and humanity. We should ignore these facts about third world dicta torships, and reach out with love in our hearts and and yuck, everyone's acknowledgement of the unique exception points to a rule which says the opposite, with this one exception, if we had used tax dodgers instead of fishermen, we would have ended up saying no handymen are tax dodgers, which everyone knows is untrue. If our premises are universal telling us about all or none, and our conclusion is a particular one telling us about some, we have committed the fallacy. You would feel like a swine if you hit him, but you probably know. Lots of swine who'd enjoy it, surveys have revealed 43% fewer. Psychological abnormalities among groups which just don't tell them that the abnormalities included self-esteem, competitiveness and the desire to learn, the gambler's fallacy. Few fallacies are more persistent in gambling circles than the belief that the next toss or spin, or draw, will somehow be influenced by the last one. Try the trick of doubling up ears of wheat on each square of a chessboard, and see how quickly you reach the world's total harvest, you may find the gambler's fallacy particularly useful in per swatting people to go along with you, despite a previous record, which indicates that luck was not involved. To use the genetic fallacy with devastating effect, all you need do is point out that your opponent is echoing arguments first put forward in Nazi Germany, then subsequently taken up by Augusto Pinochet and Saddam Hussein. And since no one noticed the almost, we don't need to talk about the other cases, just about every seems in this case to mean a handful, or maybe three but everyone will think of the ones they have read about who were exposed, rather than about the others who were not, the economist hides rather more willfully behind the hedge that things will get worse, barring a major change in the world economy, when they get better, it is because there was a major change in the world economy, while an insult itself is not fallacious, it is if made in a way calculated to undermine an opponent's argument, and to encourage an audience to give it less weight than it merits. Effective use demands a bold attempt to make the abuse appear to have some homonym, abusive, argumentum ad, bearing on the issue under consideration.
The rules to remember when committing this fallacy are that the hostile material should, wherever possible, be introduced with apparent reluctance, and it should be made to bear on the question of whether your opponent deserves consideration by such a worthy and serious audience as you are both addressing. Homonym, circumstantial, argumentum ad. In the argumentum ad homonym circumstantial, the appeal is to the special circumstances of the person with whom one is arguing. Homonym, circumstantial, argumentum ad. No one in this university audience can be opposed to handing out state money to subsidize services, otherwise you would not be here, occupying a subsidized place. You, as members of the working class, will appreciate, especially useful to you will be the nominal membership of the Christian church. He saw no shame in being descended from a monkey, but described the man he would be ashamed to have as an ancestor, a man who despite his learning sought to obscure by means of aimless rhetoric and appeals to prejudice. The problem for the user of rational argument is that a guffaw is as difficult to refute as a sneer. The argumentum ad lapidem is most appropriately named after Dr. Johnson's use of it, for it was one of his favorites. The best view I ever heard on this was told to me by a simple, honest woodcutter, who was probably smart enough not to depend on the views of woodcutters. Woodcutters, like aged peasants with weather-beaten faces, should be lined up in orderly squadrons in support of your arguments. He told me that, although poor himself and honest, he had always reckoned that deficit spending by government could stimulate production by priming demand, and similarly. If he's so sincere, how can he be wrong? Scotland stole a goal in the first half, but England's efforts were well rewarded in the second half when. Guess which side of the border the reporter comes from? Please sir, it wasn't me. Please sir, it wasn't me. Please sir. It wasn't me, the man we hire to scour the building. Picking up used paper clips, for example. And the ad nauseum cracks the minister before the minister cracks. The problem, nobitam, argumentum ad. If it is a fallacy to suppose that age is a guide to correctness, it is. Also fallacious to suppose something to be more right simply. Because it is new. Petitio. Principi. The fallacy of petitio principi, otherwise known as begging the question, occurs whenever use is made in the argument of something which the conclusion seeks to establish. This looks and sounds like an argument, but it is really just a clever way of saying that we should not sell arms to Malaysia because we should not sell arms to anyone, post hoc ergo propter hoc. The Latin translates as after this, therefore on account of this. And it is the fallacy of supposing that because one event follows another, then the second has been caused by the first. We know that unpleasant things followed it. Because unpleasant things are happening all the time, there are always plenty of earthquakes, sex offenses and political broad casts on TV which you can lay at your adversary's door. If John is in debt to Peter to the tune of $45, and Peter is in debt to Paul, who saved him from drowning, John might be very surprised to find Paul on his doorstep, demanding money with menaces. The fallacy of the red herring is committed whenever irrelevant material is used to divert people away from the point being made, and to pro-seed towards a different conclusion. Even if the policeman is put off the scent, the dog won't be, when attention is focused on showing the example to be a false one. But leaving the central thesis unchallenged, the fallacy is known as refuting the example. Since the blueness of the summer sky is not an object, it cannot be processed like a material thing, because we can make sentences about unicorns and the present king of France. They claim that there must actually be unicorns and a present king of France, 
with the latter presumably riding on the back of the former. People argue that since, in the UK, everyone has to pay for the country's national health service, this gives the state a sufficient justification to ban smoking, because smokers suffer moral nesses. In the film Dr. Strangelove, when a psychotic commander sends his wing on a nuclear attack against the USSR, the general reassures the president, you can't con deem the whole system just because of one letdown. A billion apples might have hit a billion heads since Newton's, but it would still take only one apple going upward to force at least a modification to the general theory. We don't have to, any more than we have to prove that it isn't done by invisible elves or Andromedans living in pyramids under the burr. But a triangle, instead of resorting to the simple you prove it isn't, you should clothe your fallacy in more circumlocutious form. Can you show me one convincing piece of evidence which actually dis proves that? This tempts the audience into supplying instances, giving you a chance to slide into refuting the example instead of giving any arguments in favor of your case, with any other boy I'd be the first to admit that burning down the school was wrong, but Michael is very highly strung, as talented people tend to b. Talented people get away with arson, it seems, as well as murder, the straw man is made incredibly easy to knock down so that when you are unable to refute your opponent's argument, you can topple the straw man instead. Temperantlim, argumentum ad. He might have added, between truth and falsehood, between vice and virtue, between falling asleep and staying awake, between sense and nonsense, the term Thatcher's blame might similarly catch on for two reasons, it was regularly used against the lady herself, and it covers all cases, just as a Thatcher covers all of the roof. Integrity, honor and glory sometimes seem pretty trivial reasons dash. But long life milk. Associate membership of the European Union, when it was known as the European Economic Community, was, however, rejected by a British Prime Minister as beneath our dignity. Why, it would then become another flaming excuse, like this one, if you can find nothing at all to your opponent's discredit, even this fact can be used in an attempt to undermine what he is saying. While the average listener might nod sagely at this point, he would be somewhat put out if he later discovered that Bill hadn't failed his driving test. He owned it would be agreeable. Boswell reported, but added that none of them entertained so absurd a notion.